Okay, welcome to the Bookmap webinar. Uh, we're going to go through the platform details, and we've done things a little differently now. Uh, and uh, let me let me uh, go through the risk disclaimer, and then I'll, I'll get into some of these details. Uh, trading equities and futures involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not indicative of future results. More information you can find at bookmap.com. Become a member there, and you'll have access to free resources. And then you can reach out to us at support at bookmap.com. Uh, here's where uh, you can get more information just at our website uh, and uh, click on explore here. Uh, you've, here's the free webinar link as well. Uh, that's for this webinar. Uh, and then uh, members, you can sign in here. So let's explore and let's click on the pricing. So I just want to show you where you can find Bookmap uh, if you want to give it a try. Okay, there are two versions, uh, basic and advanced. Okay, now these basic and advanced here with the DX feed, uh, these, uh, it's a package deal. Okay, you can get DX feed with the basic and advanced over here as well. Uh, it's just not a package. Okay, so it's 49 per month or 99 per month for the advanced. They are both billed quarterly and you get a 14 day trial period. So try it out. See if it's something that works for you. If it doesn't, uh, it's really risk-free. Uh, you've invested maybe a little time and understanding and hopefully uh, uh, get a great understanding of order flow. Uh, and, um, and that's that. So the, the differences between the two are the add-ons, okay, and the ability to trade right from the bookmap chart. Okay, so all of these add-ons, very powerful, uh, and I'll, uh, I'll demo those for you. Okay, uh, good morning, Francisco. Um, okay, so uh, that's Bookmap, um, and uh, the um, Bookmap portal here. If you click on this link, if you're uh, once you become a member, uh, you can uh, uh, view the uh, features and components here, and then there's the education uh, here. <clears throat> All the videos are here. However, uh, you can also just simply subscribe or follow us on Twitter. All right, and uh, then uh, you can uh, access all of the uh, webinars here uh, on the YouTube page. Okay, so you'll see the um, there's an intro video here. A little further down, all the features and components are all in this playlist. Okay, order flow video snippets. Uh, these go through in, in um, very concise, but uh, they're detailed enough. Um, I, I think they're very well detailed. Uh, going over phenomena that uh, uh, we witness uh, in, uh, in the order flow uh, that um, uh, other software packages uh, uh, really, um, uh, they don't give you those details uh, and they're not able to visualize uh, this type of phenomena uh, and, um, uh, and how this can help your, your trading here, okay? Uh, the bookmap education course is down below that and then all the recorded webinars are here, okay? And uh, here's a, uh, a professional trader, uh, veteran uh, for, um, oh, God, I don't know how long uh, he has been trading, um, uh, but uh, quite a long time and he is excellent. So if you want to see another trader, a professional trader using Bookmap, uh, this is the place to, uh, to check it out. Okay. All right. Let's see. Uh, ah, okay. So the new, um, this is the new uh, details here for the, uh, uh, for the webinars, okay. So there's two webinars now. Uh, there's one at 10:30, which is this one, and Monday through Friday, and uh, we're going to go through the bookmap uh, uh, basics, the advantages, uh, what is displaying for you, so you can understand what it is, uh, and then uh, how to begin using it and reading it uh, by understanding the um, uh, the order flow, uh, and then answer all of your questions. Okay, so you can just register once, and this is open to all. Okay, now uh, the the second webinar is here, and this is um, uh, the Bookmap Live Order Flow Advanced Analysis, and this one is for those that are currently in uh, trial or current customers. So they're going to have more detailed uh, questions, uh, and we're going to go over that. Uh, so uh, we're going to go through more advanced uh, phenomena uh, here in Bookmap and how to read it and how to integrate that into your trading. Okay, This is going to allow you to really optimize your, your um, trade entries, exits, and trade management, and we'll have a more detailed uh, Q&A session as well. Okay, So uh, uh, 
you know we're making a distinction uh, between the two uh, because uh, a lot of the uh, a lot of the traders out there are looking for uh, more information uh, uh, how to integrate uh, a book map uh, into their trading okay uh, and uh, and we're going to do that so uh, this is that's uh, the structure uh, you're welcome to uh, uh, if you are a current customer or in trial you're welcome to attend both okay uh, anyway that's that's the new structure okay uh, so let's jump in here and take a look at bookmap uh, and uh, uh, again uh, you know this th these sessions are for you guys so ask away any questions that you have uh, happy to go through this okay uh, let's see uh, Andreas uh, is this your own platform Ah, okay, so you want you're looking for um, there is a web version uh, as well. Uh, it's through Tradeovate. If you're interested, you might want to reach out to them. Uh, and uh, it doesn't. It's not the. Um, uh, let's put it this way. Uh, there are uh, there's a distinction between the two uh, versions. Uh, the um, uh, the Bookmap desktop version. Uh, is um, you know it's going to have other details in here and features uh, that the uh, the bookmap web does not have. All right. And uh, yeah, uh, reach reach out to Tradeovate. I think uh, that would be the way to go. Um, Tradeovate.com. I can put the link in here. In just a minute. Okay, I'll put it in chat. There you go. Okay. All right. Okay, so let's get into it here. We'll we'll take a look at the ES. Uh, yeah, why not? I mean, uh, we'll take a look at the ES. It's uh, you know, it's summertime, and the it's you know the ES really kind of uh, it's so thick in liquidity that uh, uh, sometimes we're we're like last week we we're looking at oil or the Nasdaq. Nasdaq's been on fire, so. Uh, you know, we uh, maybe we'll take a look at some of those other markets as well. But I'll just start with the ES. Most of us are very familiar with the uh, ES. Uh, absolutely, uh, Andreas, it works on NinjaTrader 7 and or 8, uh, as you prefer. Okay. Uh, so uh, you can you can uh, connect Bookmap directly uh, through the API in Ninja, or we're just a um, uh, a platform just like Ninja. So uh, if you have a, a data feed. Uh, from any of the uh, supported uh, 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 data providers that we have, and I can show you that list. Okay, then uh, this is important, so that's why I'm going over this. Uh, the connectivity. Okay, stage five, CQG, rhythmic gain capital, uh, Ninja Trader seven and or eight. Uh, this goes through the API of the uh, of the Ninja platform. It also is the same thing with TT. Okay. Uh, trading technologies here, X Trader. It's for X Trader only, though. All right, uh, X Trader Pro. So it a book map will go through the API of uh, TT X Trader. Okay, or you can connect directly through all the rest of them here, like IQ Feed, uh, Interactive Brokers also goes through the API. Tradeavate is the web-based uh, Transact Futures, uh, and then the Dev Experts and Nasdaq. This is with the new book map for equities. Okay. Uh, and that's what uh, this DX feed is all about here. So if you want to access um, uh, equities, you can. All right. Okay, you will need to subscribe to that. Now, we're not the data provider, but we have a partnership with them. Okay. Okay. Let's see another question. Uh, Scott, you're having some problems with um, uh, NinjaTrader locked up repeatedly. Okay. Uh, Scott, who are you connecting through? Is it, um, you know, through the Ninja brokerage or is it through another data provider? If it's Ninja brokerage, it's probably CQG. Top stack Rhythmic. Oh, well, fantastic. Okay. Uh, Rhythmic offers two uh, data feeds uh, simultaneously or the same data feed that is accessible by two different platforms. So um, 
you can just open up your um, uh, your your book map uh, and um, uh, input your credentials for your rhythmic uh, directly in the book map and and have that running up and running separate from Ninja Trader. There's no need to have your Ninja Trader up. Okay, you can, uh, but it looks like you're ha having a few few issues at the moment with uh, with Ninja Trader. Okay. So give that a try, uh, Scott. So um, like I said, we're, we're just like any other platform. Just input your rhythmic credentials right there uh, or your top step rhythmic. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, however you want to open your Ninja Trader and access whatever it is, uh, I'm just saying that uh, you, you'll be able to access Bookmap without Ninja. So if you're having issues with Ninja, you can still get Bookmap going. All right. Okay. All right. Good question, though. Uh, and um, okay, let's go over some of the details in the platform here. Okay, what are you looking at here in Bookmap? Now, for a lot of people, this looks very foreign. Uh, and um, we're going to start off looking at something that we're all very accustomed to. Okay. and indicators too. This is an add-on indicator here, this number, right? And I'll go over that later. Okay, all right, so what I'm looking at here uh, is a five-minute candlestick chart in Bookmap, okay? And we also have a, a sub, uh, sub chart here uh, of volume, okay? Now, most of us are very accustomed to looking at this, uh, this kind of chart, okay? This is a five-minute period, open, high, low, close, and uh, and you can start to you know start to understand the pressure, the speed uh, of price within an, uh, a candlestick chart, and you know that's good. Uh, however, uh, there are many issues here uh, with a candlestick chart. Uh, the, the transparency to data here um, is uh, very very limited. Uh, we don't know uh, many different things here by looking at a candlestick chart. Uh, and we're making financial decisions based on limited data. I mean, it's really only 5% of the data here that uh, you're accessing uh, in, uh, in a candlestick chart. Open, high, low, close of a specific time period. That's it. Uh, so um, uh, we want uh, a lot more information uh, that, uh, that can give us much more informed, uh, make us, allow us much more informed trading decisions. Okay, much more informed. So the problem here, uh, let's just start with volume. Uh, you know, we don't even uh, know where the volume took place on this candlestick, okay? Within this five minute period, where are the traders committing themselves? We just, we don't know, okay? We have our sub chart here and that's helpful, uh, but uh, uh, still it, it, it just gives us the, um, uh, the volume. Uh, it doesn't tell us what type Actually, Bookmap does tell you what type by the, we make a distinction here between the uh, aggressor and the subchart. Um, and we're also showing where it took place within this period, not exactly on the candlestick, but let me continue on. So we wanna know where the traders are committed. Okay, Where is the volume on this candlestick, for example? Uh, and um, uh, you know what, what type of volume? Uh, how, how did it unfold? Uh, we're going to gain insight uh, by uh, layering on more uh, more information here in Bookmap. Okay, so we solve this problem here uh, by uh, first. I'm just going to show you the historical best bid and offer. Okay, and this is already giving us some insight. Okay, I can also I can see a little double bottom right here uh, in this five minute five minute chart. So we have a little bit of microstructure here that is being displayed, okay? And this, we're just unfolding the tip of the iceberg here. No, no, no pun intended on that, truly. Um, but um, uh, the, um, uh, we can also see the speed here of how quickly this went down. Uh, and, uh, uh, and then we had a little sideways action, a little bit of a bounce, okay? So now uh, let's turn on the volume, okay? And let me bring down the dot size a little bit. Let's go to the default. Uh, I'll just bring it down here. Okay, there we go. 
Okay, so now uh, we're starting to understand a lot more. Look at the volume that traded here, okay? The majority of the volume traded at the low of this candlestick, okay? This is already giving us a lot of insight just by knowing that piece of knowledge. Uh, and um, uh, because once you start to understand uh, order flow in a trend, you're gonna, be, you're gonna see a lot more of the volume trading at the lower lows. Okay, and that's exactly what has unfolded here. And we can see that up in here, in the, in the uh, lower highs, very little volume trading. And that's very indicative of order flow within a trend. Okay, anyway, let me continue on with the, the candlestick here. Uh, and uh, let's just look at this five minute period. Okay, so now I've broken it down. Each vertical dotted line here is a minute. We can put a, a minute chart on here. Uh, candlestick chart, but uh, let's just look at the five minutes. And now we can start to understand really what unfolded here uh, within this price action. Okay, so obviously it's a down candle. We opened here, we had a little bump to the high. Okay, I mean, just like a tick or two, and then it sold off hard. Okay, look at the volume here. Okay, we see uh, there's buying and selling here. Okay, and that's the pie display. We give you the overall uh, delta of the uh, aggressor. Okay, red is an aggressive market sell. Uh, green is an aggressive market buy. Okay, as I zoom in, I can start to pull apart all of this trading activity, and I can I can see exactly what traded here. Okay, so like uh, this big dot here. Well, let me show you what is really comprised of. This is this is like your horizontal time and sales going by. You're going to see a flurry of activity, and I can we can use the rollover tip uh, tool tip here. Uh, to, sh to show exactly what volume it was. We have the date, the time, what was on the ask at this price, and then the volume at this price level, okay? And we can see that uh, this is 283 trades, all right? I'm sorry, not 283 trades, for a volume of 283, okay? All right, now as I zoom back out, you can see how we just are visually aggregating that data. Okay. And that's an advantage here because you're able to use and digest this information now. All right. Okay. So, um, uh, and, uh, and you get the overall delta here. All right. So now you're starting to understand the volume here uh, of what took place uh, within this period. And that's a lot more insight. We've broken apart this candle and we're telling you, uh, we're showing you exactly what unfolded. Right, and it's it's this kind of detail here in the microstructure that where where the problem uh, in candlestick is is really apparent. Uh, you know, bookmap captures it all. Okay, even even a footprint chart, you're going to miss some of some of this um, uh, activity here. You're not going to see the microstructure, and the reason being is that your footprint chart is going to be, be either time based uh, or it's going to be um, a, a, a rotation based model. Okay. And, um, you know, if there's not enough uh, rotation here, well, it's just going to aggregate all of this data into, uh, you know, uh, buying and selling, and you're just going to see big numbers down here. Okay. But uh, we can see this nice little retest. Look at the exhaustion here in these little points here and complete exhaustion down here. Okay. Uh, or No, I'm sorry. Some, some did trade. 18 contracts traded down here. Okay. But one tick above, we have almost 900 trade. Okay, so you're getting some exhaust, exhaustion in some of these areas here, all right? And, and hence the bounce, okay? So anyway, that's uh, the candlesticks and the volume. Uh, now we have all that volume data, okay? Uh, and we, we've solved that issue for you, okay? Now, what about the other areas uh, around the, the chart here? Um, the other side of the order flow, uh, the transactions is an important part, but where are they bidding? Where are they offering? Where are they getting filled? Uh, and um, uh, that data is not here. What we uh, have traditionally done is gone to the dome to look for that. And, uh, and we can see our levels of liquidity here and our depth of market, okay? These are traders here lined up to trade at these specific price levels and provide liquidity with their limit orders, okay? This is your depth, uh, and this is the bookmap dome, okay? Here's your depth on the offer and your depth on the bid. Okay, this is the current market state. Now there's a, a, a problem with the current market state here. Although that's very insightful, as soon as these numbers change, 
it, it, it's gone. That data is now gone, right? We don't have any kind of historical recording uh, of this data here. Uh, so uh, you're going to have to remember areas of high liquidity, uh, areas around it. How are they behaving? Are they pulling? Are they adding? How aggressive are they? Uh, what about on the offer at the same time? That's a lot to comprehend uh, and, uh, and, and trade off of the dome. Okay. Well, uh, a book map has uh, solved that issue here by recording it. Okay. And it's in the heat map. Okay. So now... Uh, I, I've turned on the heat map, and this is the current market here. Okay, this is the best bid and offer here, in your last traded volume here. But you'll notice that the uh, the heat map changes in here. Okay, that is reflected with the change in the liquidity. Okay, so very bright areas are going to be high liquidity. Okay, and uh, it, it's a grayscale. So if it's a little, if it's less bright, it's uh, lower liquidity. Okay. Now you can adjust for that uh, using your contrast configurations here, uh, and um, and and look for and you can adjust it all sorts of ways, right? And you can look at very subtle details here in the liquidity if you like. Okay, uh, personally, and the and the way that we've gone through it here, uh, and most of the professional traders out there are interested in that longer term liquidity uh, and high liquidity. Okay, not the details. Uh, I want to see some details to understand what's going on, pressing price, a flip of the book. Uh, Francisco uh, loves the flip of the book. So, for example, you can see uh, a bit of a flip here. Uh, they were on the on the bid, uh, and now they flipped over to the offer here. Okay, pretty pretty powerful stuff to understand how the liquidity is behaving. All right. Um, and uh, uh, you're welcome, Francisco. Yes, I mean, uh, you know, this is this is what is the current market state uh, here, okay? But but this is how they behaved previously. Now we have that record. Now we can start to gauge their intent to trade at these areas, okay? They were here earlier. Are they still here? And for the moment, at at uh, uh, 2465, they are. 1600 contracts here. Okay, 1,600 contracts on the other side up here at 68 and a half. And we are channeling between those two areas right now of high liquidity. Okay, so uh, although we start trending down here, and, we're, and look at the break down here was just one tick. Okay, we still have, there's still a slant to the downside. Okay, uh, however, uh, the um, it looks like we want to channel here for a bit. Uh, and, uh, but we'll, we'll see, uh, we'll see if, uh, uh, all of a sudden sellers start to jump in here and they'll get it. We'll see a skew in the auction, the auction part here. Okay. The, the offers, they're going to lower the offers and get aggressive. They're starting to do that here at 67 and a quarter. Okay. Let's see if they, we get some more of that and we, let's see if they start to hit the bid pretty hard with the aggressive sell orders. Okay. Uh, if they do, we're going to test 65. All right. So uh, that's uh, uh, what the heat map uh, is showing you. And now you have that uh, graphical representation of the liquidity. And now you're looking at a very, very transparent market here. Uh, we have all of the data. Uh, and uh, we can start to understand and gauge their behavior. So let's take a look. Uh, at uh, well, we're, we're just coming down and testing this here, so I, I want to see this test. And maybe I can zoom in a little bit here and get both. Look at the liquidity down here. Okay, the um, uh, they 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 were uh, providing high liquidity and then they pulled. Okay, so these guys don't really want to trade in this area. That is insightful. We we understand that uh, they're they're not too interested in trading here. In fact, look at the behavior. They start to pull that liquidity, and now they're off or bidding down here, uh, about a full point lower. And that's pretty bearish. Okay, it is high liquidity here, uh, but uh, you can see that uh, uh, you know understand this behavior here, uh, and um, uh, start to uh, anticipate uh, a test of this area because of the bearish activity. Right. And uh, we're we're just shy of it here, OK? 
Okay, we came uh, one tick away from it, and we can start to gauge their their behavior here now too. It's still kind of bearish, although this is high liquidity. What about the areas around it? Okay, we can see that um, uh, there's really uh, uh, they're they're starting to pull that liquidity when it's one tick away, and they're starting to add lower. Okay. And that's really not showing the intent to trade here uh, at 65. I mean, it's less so than lower. All right. So what if that, you know, behavior was different? What if they not only uh, had high liquidity here, they added even more as price was coming down? And what if they started to build out this area here, uh, at, not down below it, but above it? And that would show pretty pretty bullish behavior on the bid. Okay. Uh, so anyway, uh, now we're starting to get a context uh, of the auction and starting to understand it. Okay. Now the sellers here, although the although the uh, the buyers here were uh, were showing kind of this uh, uh, bearish behavior, uh, we can see that the sellers didn't take them on. Okay, and that's where we were pointing it out earlier, kind of getting exhaustive down here. I mean, look at the uh, the trading that took place here. It's 160 contracts compared to 2,000, just one tick above. Okay, so we're still kind of channeling here. Uh, it's kind of feeling these these areas out right now. Okay. All right. So that's what you're looking at at Bookmap, uh, and. Um, uh, the uh, understand starting to, to put the context uh, together of the order flow, uh, the transactions, uh, and, and the auction, and the intent to trade at these areas. And that's truly what makes up the market. Okay, It's, the, it's where they're bidding and offering, uh, and then where they're actually uh, uh, you know, taking, uh, taking part in the market and engaging uh, with their transactions. Okay, And we have it all here. Uh, displayed for you. Okay, so um, uh, anyway, uh, let's uh, let's wrap it up here. Uh, the uh, uh, the next webinar is going to start in just a little bit uh, for the uh, people in uh, in trial right now, uh, and uh, and uh, also current uh, uh, current users. Okay, so um, uh, yeah, if uh, if you guys are interested, uh, then uh, give the trial uh, a shot. And we'll go through the uh, and, and, and further the education uh, in the uh, uh, you know the webinar series for uh, for those in, in the uh, in the trial. Okay. All right. What's the cost of Bookmap, Andrew? Yeah, it's uh it's right here. Okay, forty nine per month for the basic, ninety nine per month uh, for the advanced. Uh, and um, uh, you get it for a, a three-month period, okay? Yeah, we're not a data provider, Peter. Uh, you will have to uh, uh, have your own data provider uh, unless uh, you're just interested in the equities. We don't provide the data, but we have a partnership here, all right? Okay. Okay, guys, we'll wrap it up, and uh, we will catch up with you tomorrow. Okay, thanks.